There are so many things in life that I don't understand, and this is one of them. Why don't people cook more soups from scratch? I can't understand it. It's cheap, delicious, and it's very, very easy to make. Maybe it's because people are scared for some unknown reason. Maybe people believe that they can't make it, it's hard, and so on. And today I'm gonna prove you wrong. So without further ado, today we're gonna cook Swedish meat soup completely from scratch. The first thing we'll do is actually create our bone broth or our soup. And in this instance, our broth here will represent the soup. And to present our vegetables, of course, we're gonna show a vegetable. So it's super, super easy. We're gonna cook our meat first to create a broth. And then we're gonna put our vegetable in the broth. And we're done. Super, super simple. So just keep that in mind through the whole recipe and that will sure you help you to create this dish by yourself back home. Without further ado, let's begin cooking. And to be able to create our broth or the soup base, so to say, we're gonna cook our protein. And since we're cooking a meat soup in this instance, of course we're gonna cook with some cuts of meat. And this serves two purpose. It will create a broth or the soup base. And also it will serve the other purpose of having it, the meat in the soup. It will be full of the bone tender. <laughs> this doesn't have any bone in it, but you understand what I'm saying. And if you wonder what cuts of meat we can use here, use a little bit more fattier part meat. Uh, I would recommend pretty much any meat, stew meat whatsoever is gonna work because we're gonna boil it for such a long time so it's gonna fall apart uh, anyway. The cooking technique I'm using you can apply to pretty much any soup whatsoever. Fish soup, mushroom soup, meat soup, shellfish soup, so on. That's, that's about it. Let's start with the soup paste or the broth so to say. We're gonna put this on the highest heat possible and throw in our meats. I really recommend to get one of these, I don't know, I think it's a deep frying tool actually, but it's really great to skim the, the meat off. And this is optional, but it really separates a good soup from a really great one. Uh, this is a bone marrow with the bone still attached, of course. So I'm gonna throw one of these in as well. I'm just gonna salt just a little bit to help everything to loosen up a little bit. What I will do now is to put the lid on and wait until it boils up. I'm gonna strain all this water because it's gonna get kind of dirty and a little bit cloudy. So we're going for clean meat soup, we want to do that. So put the lid on now and we will strain the dirty water soon. And as you can see now, we're up to a boil and there's lots of dirty things in here. And what I like to do is to take a sieve and just put everything in the nice sieve. Then you have clean parts and we can put these ones now in our soup. Time to grate the foundation of the soup. So here we have it, the meat. Now we're gonna add our herbs and create a beautiful soup broth out of this. And when it comes to things to put in the soup, super simple. And all the things we're adding now is just to create a nice flavor into the soup. So that's a good thing to remember as well. We're gonna put in one oven, one onion, and uh, two small carrots. And as I told you, this is only to create flavor. We're gonna take this away later. So yeah, that's a good thing to know as well. We're gonna add some fresh thyme from our garden and also some nice bay leaf. When it comes to herb in this dish, we're gonna use the Swedish staple herbs or dry herbs is more correct word. We're gonna add white pepper, around 15 balls. And also this is a little bit optional, but I like to add maybe just a two uh, of crude pepper, all allspice. And of course, we're gonna add some salt. And here we go, the soup is nice and ready. We're gonna start it up now. And we're not gonna boil it super hard, we're gonna boil it just simmer it to create a nice broth as you said. Just gonna simmer it for I think around one and a half hour so put it on simmer and yeah go and do something else fun. <laughs> Maybe watch one, one of my other videos. Hint hint. <laughs> and when it comes to stuff to put in the soup this is what I like to have. Root vegetables is one of my go-to things when it comes to meat soup. And if you don't know what this vegetable is, there's another video where I make this vegetable in a mash together with a nice pork leg. So you can see some more information about this vegetable on that video. 
And when it comes to cutting these things up, it's kind of funny actually. Depending on who's you're cooking to, I will cut this up in different <laughs> ways. If you're serving this to a chef or a person that's really good with food, chop everything in the same nice sizes. I'm gonna show you that. But if you're serving this to a normal human being <laughs> that's not that used to homemade food, do a more gourmet or a more rough version. That way it shows that you have cooked it by yourself. We're gonna peel these vegetables and then we're gonna cut them up. This is also uh, actually a great way to practice your knife skills. Okay, so let's start cutting these ones up. I'm gonna serve this to actually some people that, I don't know, knows a little bit about food at least. So I'm gonna show you how I, I am gonna chop them up. And it doesn't need to be perfect in any way, but somewhat similar slices or the sizes of the cuts is what you're going for. This is no way perfect, but it's, I don't know, good enough for me at least. And when it comes to this bad boy, it's a little bit tougher actually. So what I like to do is just cut them up this way, around the same length. So once again, stack it like that, go down. So we're pretty much making French fries to begin with. So here we have it, our root vegetables, nice and well, it's okay cut at least. It's not perfect, but around the same sizes. Okay, so the soup is ready. So what we'll do now is pick out the meat and then we're gonna strain all the nice, beautiful soup broth. I like to use one of these strainers. That way we'll have everything nice and separated. And pick out the meats that you didn't catch in the first place. So here we have it, the soup broth or the base for the whole soup. Let's give it a taste test. Beautiful, nice beefiness, some sweetness from the carrot and the vegetables. Good salt balance. Be careful here when you salt it a little bit more. First taste, you may be thinking, yeah, let's want to add so much more salt, but be careful because we're gonna eat a whole dish of this. It's not even, it's not just the sauce. Try it one, two, three, four, five times. Then you know if the salt balance is good enough or not. In this case, it's perfectly as it is. We're gonna cut up the meat pieces we took out and then put in our fresh, nice vegetables. Time to bring it to a boil and put in our root vegetables and the meat on the end as well. And now when it's nice and hot, time to put in our root vegetables. And we're gonna let this boil for around five minutes. And <laughs> we really can start to get that nice, beautiful smell now. All the vegetables, the meat broth, beautiful, beautiful. Now when it's been a few minutes, I'm gonna drop in the meat and a little bit of parsley. And it's really starting to come together now. Dropping in a bin, big or a fist, <laughs> so to say, of parsley. Let's put the lid on for a few more minutes. And yeah, you can get religious for less things than this. Woohoo! And here we go! A meat soup later, and it's time for the taste test. And as you see, very simple, just take a little bit of time maybe, cook the soup first, and then add the vegetables, and then you're done, and you have a Soup made from scratch. Mm. Still just a tiny bit crunch on the vegetable, which is so great because normally you get overboiled root vegetables in pretty much every soup. Mm. Nice and fatty soup broth. You can really taste that bone marrow in it as well. Good salt balance, as I said, be careful when salting it because first, if it's right, you maybe want to add more salt, but remember you're gonna eat a whole dish with this. So try at least four or five times before you add more salt to it. 
and you do get that little bit of uh, allspice back of your throat. It's kind of nice actually. It has that I don't know Swedish husmanskost vibe to the whole uh, to the whole dish. As I said before, super cheap. You use very cheap pieces of meat. And root vegetables cost as yeah as little as vegetables can cost. Perfect for meal prepping as well. Have it in a freezer and then just microwave it or put it on a stove once you want it to eat it. Hopefully you got inspired to cook some more dishes from scratch. As you've seen, super simple. Just divide it in your head with two things. Create the soup and then put the admins in the soup. And that's it. There is more Husmans Cost videos coming out pretty soon. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and, and bell button down below. And if you feel like it, hit that like button down below as well. It really helps me out. As always, you can follow me here on Instagram. There will be a link down below. And if you want to see what equipment I use, I have a list to Amazon down below as well. I just want to say thank you for watching this video. And I guys, I see you soon. Have a great day.